Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. 2016 Roland Garros. We thought we'd take a look at the biggest surprises and the biggest disappointments. Breakouts, breakthroughs, and breakdowns. Today on Tennis Now, we're going to take a look at the best. Okay, let's get started with the disappointments. Number one, no Roger, no Rafa, no party. It was bad enough when 2009 champion decided to pull out on the day before the draw, but when Rafa Nadal had to withdraw ahead of his third round match, we were absolutely stunned. Talk about a heartbreaking press conference. We hope they get well soon and that we see Roger and Rafa making some noise in a good way at Wimbledon. Number two, Grigor Dimitrov. Another first round loss at a major for the young Bulgarian, who was thought, by the way, to be one of the future stars of the game just less than two years ago. The good news, Grigor's only 25, and you never know, he could work his way up to the top of the game and fulfill all that potential in the not too distant future. He certainly has the talent. Number three, third biggest appointment of Roland Garros in 2016, the weather. Not only did we miss nearly two full days at the beginning of week two, it was also very chilly, wet, and rainy, and basically pretty miserable for the whole fortnight. What happened to Paris in the springtime? Well, maybe next year. Number four, another big disappointment in Paris this year was Victoria Azarenka. After Vika won Indian Wells and Miami back to back this spring, we all thought she had finally put her injury problems behind her and was ready to ascend to the top of the women's tennis game again. No such luck. Azarenka was bounced in the first round when she had to retire with a knee injury in the third set. It was terrible news for the talented former number one and terrible news for fans who were hoping to watch Vika meet Serena in the quarterfinals. Number five, last on our list of Roland Garros disappointments was Karolina Pliskova of the Czech Republic. Long thought of as one of the rising talents on the WTA tour, Pliskova dropped another first rounder and now owns a career record of 12 and 16 at the majors and has never reached the second week at a major. All right, now on to the surprises. We're gonna start with number five. How about the rise of Dominique Team? Yes, most of us saw it coming, but did you really believe that the 22-year-old Austrian would make it all the way to the semis? Team is an intensely powerhouse of a player making it to the semis to play Novak Djokovic. Couldn't pull it out, but boy, was that fun to watch. Number four on our list of Roland Garros surprises was Frenchman Matthias Borg. He wasn't able to get past Andy Murray in the second round, but the 22-year-old world number 164 showed some absolutely divine tennis in pushing the number two seed to five sets. Will Borg be a star someday, or was he just playing at an unsustainable level versus Murray? Either way, that one was fun to watch. Number three on our Roland Garros surprise list was Venus Williams. At 35 years old and the oldest player in the draw, Williams reached the second week for the first time since 2010. To put up that kind of performance on clay, her worst surface is quite an impressive feat. Can she do better on grass? We'll be watching. Number two on our list of Roland Garros surprises is a tie between Shelmy Rogers and Svetlana Peronkova. Rogers ranked 108 and Porongova ranked 102 became just the ninth and 10th players to reach the quarterfinals at Roland Garros while ranked outside the top 100 since 1983. That's a long time. And our biggest Roland Garros surprise from 2016 was Dutch woman Kiki Burtons. Fresh off the Nuremberg title, Burtons continued her toured play in Paris, knocking off number three seed Angelique Kerber in the first round and then proceeding to take out three more seeded players to reach her first Grand Slam semifinal. Burton's notched her first two top 10 wins at majors and after finally falling in the semifinals to Serena Williams, will rise over 30 ranking spots to number 27 in the world for her efforts. Pretty amazing run, way to go Kiki. That's it for our surprises and disappointments at Roland Garros. Did we miss anything? If so, let us know. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.